My name is Michael McGlade. I'm the founder and creative director of Yellow Design. We're based in Belfast and I'm very fortunate to lead a very innovative and dedicated team. Belfast is an amazing place. It's full of charm, full of characters and full of resilience. Everyone in the immersive space is on a journey and I would like to tell you about our journey. Belfast has set a challenge to become a smart city and hard to place rewards and incentivization across different places, different urban spaces. And through that, it was the investigation of how to use AR technology, to how to create a story, how to create a narrative, and actually give a sense of time and place. And that's really the challenge and the opportunity that our team has been working towards. Through our research and development, we looked at VR, we looked at XR, and we looked at AR and everyone's got a smartphone in their pocket, so we can make this available to everyone. And then it really was a case of looking at what big stories, untold stories, that Belfast has to tell. So that led us to looking at Titanic. It was built on our slipways, it was built on our uh, docks, and we seen that a lot of people couldn't envisage the size and the scale of what this vessel actually was. We didn't know the boundaries of what AR and the technology and what it allowed us to do, so we broke the rules and we actually have created Titanic at full scale. All 265 metres in high detail, fully optimised to be played out on any AR and any mobile handset. Mixed reality can take things like uh, boring info signs and uh, bring them to life and send you on scavenger hunts to, you know, collect different 3D objects or, you know, really start to gamify the tourist experience. Technology is uh, at a turning point at the moment. It's going through rapid, rapid change. Uh, and we're moving away from just screen-based technology into spatial computing, 3D images and information and entertainment and everything being delivered to you via maybe glasses, maybe via your mobile handset, etc. This is completely transforming all kinds of experiences, whether it's navigating around Belfast, whether it's ordering food in a restaurant, whether it's, you know, themed tours of the city and those kind of things. Um, and maybe even when you're shopping, giving you useful information right in front of your face about, about the products you're buying and things like that. In all kinds of ways, many of the things that we currently do on computers and smartphones are going to start moving into that third dimension, if you like. Brett and I started off making uh, immersive content, VR and AR apps, etc, etc. And uh, we've gradually moved into making the core software that will drive this new revolution, particularly in the, in the animation space. And uh, because an awful lot of AR and VR and other forms of spatial computing are going to involve 3D graphics of one shape or another. We're really trying to put ourselves at the forefront of the spatial computing revolution. In a combination of R&D and working with clients, uh, we've pivoted gradually from just making apps and making content to building the core software that's going to drive this revolution, particularly for us now in the animation space, harnessing the power of immersive tech to, to massively slash the way and transform the way animation is produced. My name is Emer Hargey, the Heritage Officer here in RC Conula, the James Connolly Visitor Centre in West Belfast. I think whenever we first started um, coming up with the idea of the James Connolly Heritage Trail, it was really about uncovering the hidden heritage of James Connolly in the city. Not many people knew about his time here and his work with the dockers or mill workers, um, so it was really important to highlight that. It's the first augmented reality uh, heritage trail that's ever been in the city. It's a great tourism product for people, but also for locals as well, to explore our hidden heritage in the city. Um, so the fact that it's the very first augmented reality tour, and it, it goes from City Hall towards North Belfast and back up West Belfast, so it takes in almost all, all the corners of our city as well, which is great. Our company is Aura, Aura Digital Studios, um, and we produce animated content. Um, so. Basically, our clients all come to us with stories that they need told and we produce the visuals for it. And that breaks down into 2D animation, 3D animation, some live action video as well. 
um, and most recently we're venturing into future technologies like AR and VR, all with um, narrative as the drive. We recently worked on a project called Suru um, with a company called Neon in Belfast, um, which is kind of this um, cultural project between Belfast and Hiroshima, uh, telling the story and how both communities dealt with rebuilding after a conflict. It's a hybrid 2D, 3D animation, so we use elements of hand-drawn 2D and put it into a 3D world. Um, and then that comes across in AR. We were really lucky as well to work with Yellow Design, who are a, a local software company who did the um, back end of the project and the application. Mm. Um, and it was a great chance for us as a company in our infancy to be able to work yeah. with such great local talent as well. I'm the Artistic Director of Ulster Touring Opera and our goal is to increase access to opera across the province of Ulster. And we do that in two main ways. The first way is through traditional touring to venues with our wonderful performers. But also we've been interested in using cutting edge technology to see what we can do to increase access in different ways. And one of the ways which has become really interesting for us is through augmented reality given the fact that most people now have a smartphone or something which can access this technology, I think it's really important that opera is on the cutting edge of being able to, to make the most of these really interesting developments to bring opera out of the opera house and into people's homes. We want to make sure that the transformative power of opera and our passion for the art form is communicated to as many people as possible, just to make sure that it can be enjoyed and thrive in the years to come. So building an audience that already exists and also the audience of the future is really important to our work. And particularly augmented reality is a way of getting people interested and excited about opera who may never have been interested in getting to know the art form. When we talk about the scale of what is possible in AR, there's two ways of looking at this. One is about the physical scale or the virtual scale of building a ship at 265 meters but also the scale of how this can be populated and available to everyone. So people in wheelchairs and pushchairs, and that it's accessible to everyone. And that's one of the things we're dedicated to, that making citizens feel a sense of ownership in their own cities, or when they go visiting, that they actually have a sense of, I can do this, I can reimagine, I can visualize, I can see, I can understand this story. Yellow Design's not alone. Right. There's some amazing, talented individuals and agencies and teams in Belfast and Northern Ireland basically just pushing the boundaries of what, immer what can be achieved through immersive. And what is brilliant is that through Future Screens NI and their leadership and their support, we all collaborate together. We all bring innovation and we'll back each other up and we'll actually share that information and it's that synergy and that energy that propels us all forward.